Hi, my name's Troy Daniel, and I'd like to walk you through the game Delegation Poker and how to play it. First, why you want to play this game as a manager. It's a tool that empowers your team to openly discuss where they think authority should reside, separate from actually making the decision. It's a very easy game to play with, at a high level, three things you need to do. Present the scenarios to your team, let them individually consider the, the scenario privately, and like planning poker, have the highest and lowest discuss their reasoning. Before we get into a scenario, let's walk through the seven levels of delegation as presented in the game. One is tell, where you the manager just make the decision. Two is sell, where you make the decision but you persuade others into buying into it. Three is consult, where you gather input and then you make the decision. Four is where as a team you decide together. Five is where the team decides but you trying to influence the decision. And six is where you inquire about the decision the team has made. And lastly, seven is full-on delegation. The first three are all about the manager making the decision, where the last three are all about the employee or team making the decision. Number four, where the team decides together, we use decider protocol to come to that consensus. Interesting thing about this model is it's bi bidirectional, meaning that the manager, manager's behavior from 1 to 3 is very similar to the employee's behavior from 5 to 7. For example, if the team has level 7 delegate for decision, the team tells the manager what they decided. If the manager has level 1 telling for decision, they tell the team about what they decided. The level also describes the input the manager or employee has. If a manager has level 2 sell for decision, they decide beforehand and then let the team know about it. If a manager has level 3 consult for decision, they only decide after gathering the team's input. Inversely, the team has level 6 inquire, they decide before in informing the manager. And if a team has level 5 advise, they decide only after gathering the manager's, manager's input. So let's walk through a scenario to see if it makes things more clear. In this scenario, I'm describing how our team decides to use delegation poker. Um, an interesting thing to point out is it's a separate conversation from who do we hire. This is on how we decide who we hire. So this scenario is once a candidate has gone through our interview process, who decides on hiring them? So after everyone's privately selected their level, they reveal their choice. In this example, the team has different views on how to approach the decision. So we use a optional rule called highest minority, which discards the highest number that is all by itself. In this example, number seven delegate is discarded and that person is removed from the discussion. After a time box expires for the discussion, we play another round. For our team, we look for consensus to have a, an agreed upon approach for the given scenario. And that's it. Um, I hope you can find that, that game is empowering as we do. You'll find lots of variations out there and a special thanks to Jurgen for creating Delegation Poker.